Hey guys, what is going on? It is Duncan here, and today I'm gonna I'm gonna be reviewing the Adidas Crazy Explosive. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little montage just about just of the shoe. And I decided to review these shoes one because I did a review on the Ultra Boost which I'll try to link in link below. And number two, I just really enjoy these shoes. I've had these for about five months and I've played basketball in them, just wore them casually, and basically done everything in the shoe. So I just wanted to tell you guys my opinion on the shoe. So guys, the only thing that I had bad, that, that's wrong with this, the only thing that may hurt the opinion a little bit is I think I bought like Half the size too big just because on I, in Ultra Boost I have 13 and these I have 13 but I think they're a tiny bit big. But maybe that's just me, I just think they could be a little bit big. But enough of that, let's get into the review. So these shoes are a really good, like a really good basketball shoe for the money. It's got premium prime knit with really good, it, it grips up really well and then the, the boost, this is like, this is like as much boost you'll get in like a shoe because like that's really really thick. and. Since this part like holds it so you don't like so you don't like twist your ankle because the boost is like really flex like has a lot of flex to it since since you don't have since this part holds it down it's like a little bit more like dense but it's still really really comfortable some people said say that like they don't like the look of the shoe but I think it, I really like it and I like the name like not too many companies like making like have names that are like like that like you know out there like the crazy explosive is like a pretty like pretty like out there name there's also a low version but i couldn't get my hands on those i think they retail the prime knit low versions are 140 and these real retail for 150. i've done a lot of activities in these shoes like basketball i've even tried to run in them gone gone to the gym in them just walked around casually so i'm pretty like i said i'm pretty sure i have a pretty good idea about about these shoes so basketball they're they are really good basketball shoes like it really holds you in, even though the material is prime it, it still holds you in really well. But just like, just for me, like my feet, like I'm, they're really comfortable. My feet might just hurt just because I have really sensitive feet. And like, it, it just depends on you, on like the way your feet are. But like for mine, they're comfortable, but I can't wear them for like, a, I can't like, if I was walking like five miles or like something like that, like, like five miles, like, like on like a hike or something, I definitely couldn't wear these just because like, this is like good, f this is good for outdoor, like core and indoor core, but like when you're like walking like on the trail or stuff, not really a good idea. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is walking casually. Like if you're going, like these look really, really good. And I would say like if you're going to like the mall or something, these are really good shoes to wear and they're really comfortable and they do stand out a bit. At first, I wanted to get the red one of these because that was like the original color and I thought they were so cool. They ended up only having a 12 in the red ones, but they had a 13 this size. So I tried them on and I loved them, so I just picked them up. So I've had these shoes from about November, so like five months, and I've really gotten to know them very well. The laces, which I noticed on some basketball shoes, these are really, really quality. Like here, let me just show you something. So these are the KD9s, and there's definitely, you can definitely feel a difference in like the lacing and like the quality and stuff like that. And if I show you my other shoe, like literally, like I've worn these shoes for like a little bit longer, but like I literally had to tape this lace up because it came apart. Unlike this one, like these have really premium laces. Also, these are at like the same price point. So like, I guess you can compare it. So this is like a low top basketball shoe. This is a high top basketball shoe. So guys, besides for the size, sizing like issue that I had, there's no complaints here. This is a really, really good basketball shoe. And I know people are like, oh, Nike, like at my school, like I'm like the only, like one of the only kids that wear, uh, that wear, like wear this specific shoe. Just cause like Nike, like the, like in America, everybody's like Nike's really cool and stuff like that. Like I'm wearing Nike socks, Nike shorts. And, but like these shoes are really, really good. And like, just cause they're Adidas doesn't mean that they can't compete with some of Nike's products. So guys, if you can if you can cop these shoes and you're in need of basketball shoes or just casual shoes, you should definitely go buy these. And guys, this will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and peace. Have a good day, guys.